Ever since Delicious Party came out, I've been rather uninterested in recent Pretty Cure seasons. And ever since the first leaks came out for Wonderful Pre Cure, I felt the exact same way. But when the story was first revealed, I was a bit more interested in it. And when the intro officially came out on YouTube, I clicked on it and I thought it was really cute. And thus, I decided to give the first episode a chance to see what it was like. And I really liked it. Now, right off the bat, the first thing that really intrigued me about this first episode was the animation. I mean, compared to a lot of first episodes for other Pretty Cure seasons, especially if you compare this to Delicious Party and Hiragaru Sky, it's definitely a lot calmer and much more atmospheric. And there's no music either for these first couple minutes of the episode. It's just a very quiet introduction to the setting, as we are introduced to our main character, the dog. Well, I suppose it would be more accurate to say we are introduced to our two protagonists, the dog, Komugi, and her owner, Iroha. Now, the reason why I said we are introduced to Komugi as our main protagonist is that a good chunk of the episode specifically focuses on her, and that kind of different approach of the standard first episode format I really like. Another thing I think this episode did differently was the pacing. It was a lot slower and more laid back than usual, but I think that benefited to the episode as a whole, especially with the character introductions. And speaking of the characters, I really enjoyed all of them. Moogie was really adorable, and even though I felt that Iroha was kinda generic, as so far she really just seems like the typical pink cure, but I did enjoy her and I thought she was fun overall. I do like how she has a slightly more mature sounding voice, especially compared to Sora and Yui. <laughs> I thought Satoru was very interesting with what little we were shown of him, and I hope he contributes to the story in a meaningful way. I think if he were to eventually find out the Precure's identities, that would be really cool. Future me here, I've watched the second episode of Wonderful Precure, and from the way things are going, he's definitely going to find out about the Precure's identities, so I was right. My favorite character in this episode was definitely Mayu. I thought her introduction scene was really cute, and I like how her character is established as being shy and awkward, because I always like those kind of characters. And her cat, Yuki, is just, well, look at how smug this cat is. I love it. Regarding the fight of this episode, it was pretty well made considering it didn't have any of the traditional pre gear action, and I know some people will probably be a bit upset at that, but honestly, I don't really mind the non-physical fights. I think it fits with the theme of the show, and of course, obviously, they aren't going to beat the heck out of an innocent, possessed sheep, so I don't really have a problem with it, as long as the characters are well written and the story's interesting. Also, surprisingly, there were no villains in this episode. Not entirely sure if they're saving the villains for later or if they're just not gonna have any villains. Which hopefully is not going to be the case, but who can say at this point? Overall, this was a really good first episode. Animation was great, as I previously said. The ending dance was super catchy. And I'm looking forward to what happens next.